Hello, this is Mike Lis of the Percussion Group 2 Hit. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the different sounds uh, you can get out of the tabla, and this is particularly for composers who are interested in writing for us, uh, Western composers who don't know um, or much about tabla or are not familiar with it. And today we're going to go over the basic sounds that you can produce uh, and use with these drums. Uh, on the left-hand drum, the first sound we'll talk about is the uh, dry sound called ka. simple. Uh, the next sound uh, would be an open sound called gay or ga. The interesting about this sound is uh, as you move your hand on the drum you can create different pitches. Sometimes when I've tried to notate that for my own reference, I've uh, notated if it's a swoop up or if it's um, kind of pulling back or and then if, or if it's climbing up just a straight line up or if it's climbing or if it's descending down. Um, things like that, I would just write little symbols of how I thought it kind of went underneath. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that, but if there's something particular you want, you could add that there. The right hand drum, the first and most typical sound, characteristic sound of tabla is called na. And one very similar to that is called tin. It's similar in sound, but it is um, a bit softer and has less sharpness and attack to it. Here's the difference between na and tin. Now, if you play na or tin with a ga stroke over here, the name changes um, to, if it's na and ga, it's da. play a combination that's kind of typical if I play dagina dagina uh, another sound on the high drum is another type of tin it's open tin sometimes it's called tune also If you notice the na stroke we just talked about, that is what the drum is tuned to. If you see in our literature, it says I have a drum tuned to G, D, and then C sharp. C sharp always a D. And um, the tin, the open tin, usually sounds about a seventh below that. So this drum's tuned to a D, and so this open tin is probably somewhere around a E. Um, a co typical combination of din and na and tin and gay, um, like da tui gay na, da tui gay na, tin na gay na, or gay na, gay na, gay na. Also on the high drum, if another sound is called te, either with these fingers or these fingers, or your first finger, uh, played in a row, te te. Also be just the middle finger. And then when te is combined with ka, that, that's where you get a lot of your really fast um, rhythmic passages.
technique that is typically used uh, for fast rhythmic passages is a, a full hand stroke called a dira stroke, dira dira in the road usually. Those are the, oh, also uh, with ta, you can play a muted ta, which is called tak. It's kind of like a sharp snare drum sound almost. Also with uh, the din open or with the open tin or din stroke, if you you can also use your ring finger in combination with that, the din na din na din na din na. The ring finger stroke is called na din na. In the phrase din na gen na. Typical phrases we are using tete is a kirikita, so kirikita da. Another one uses kind of a flam technique um, in the right hand is called thaka. You can also do ornamentation things with the left hand, uh, like with a finger kind of rip. That will do for now. If you have any questions, which there's a good chance you will, um, feel free to contact me. I also have, there are three, I have three high drums, and typically I would set them up to my right over here in whatever order, and so I could play them with my right hand. Okay, I hope that answers some questions.